Now the lead hook, okay? Uh, it may take some people some time to learn. But all you have to remember with the, with the hook, it's again, it's a shot that comes off the transition of your straight rear shot, okay? Again, same teaching points, guys. You will have your elbows in, yeah? Okay, so if you imagine, um, then taking it from me moving all the way onto my lead side, so I threw my I threw my straight rear and my body should go on my, on my lead side. You see, I've I've, I've uh, used my feet to twist and assist my body to come up to uh, assist my hook, and I move, then bring my rear ha lead hand up. You see that? So I brought it up shoulder level and then put my hook. Now where the position of, of my of my knuckles is just down to preference. Yeah? Remember if I connect with my both of my farm, my, my, my hand is facing this way, there's a difference to preference of my hand facing this way. Yeah? Okay. I, what I do find is a lot of professionals use a hook like this. A lot of amateurs use their, their hook like this. And it's, it's just simply down to preference. They say that the, the, the hook is more accurate when you're throwing like this. Also, in the amateurs, they have white parts of their glove. Well, they did have white parts of their glove. And obviously, if you didn't score with the white part of your glove and you hit with this bit or that bit, it will, be, will count as, as a non-point. So what, they, what, they, what, what usually happens is, when people throw shots like this is they then sometimes hit like this and they then call it slapping, the referee tells you off for it. So a lot of amateurs throw it like this. But it's just down to preference, how you feel comfortable turning your wrist on impact. The main teaching points for the hook, the lead hook is that you make sure your body is twisted out to the side, right? And you bring your lead hand out at the right time. So if I bring it out now, I'm telegraphing and I'm showing the person I'm throwing it. Also leaves me open. So I've got to turn, then bring it out. And also I've got to make sure that my shoulder, yeah, is chin, chin level, and my arm comes up to the level of my shoulder. Can you see that? And twist around, yeah? Again, if I don't do it that way, it's like this. Yeah, weak hook, leaving myself open to, to, to count as or, or shot, oncoming shots. Don't want to do that, so I'll twist. See the shot there? A couple the other way as well. For as it is, simply doesn't matter, mate. Making sure that I've got same again. Another teaching point is making sure the rear hand is holding the phone when I'm throwing it on the other side. Again, I'm using my hips and I'm using my feet to assist me. So I'm turning over the muscles so I'm putting a cigarette out. It gets a bit awkward now, because now I throw it as a combination. My rear puts the bag out of distance. Can you see that? So there's two things I could do. I could throw it as a combination. So what I do is I don't put that much into my rear, then throw the, 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 the hook as quick as possible. So you are. Watch this. See that? So I didn't put that much into I didn't put that much into that one out there. So if, if I put that if I put too much into it, it's gonna move away. So see so yeah? And that's what you that's what you, you do if you was if you were trying to hit some of it. You wouldn't put too much in this one. Yeah? 
So the last shot is when you're trying to put the power in, yeah? If I, put, if, I, if I do put too much in this one, here we go, try it again. So I'm going to put the rear in again, not too much power from the rear, part of the lead hook. So again, again, I must remember, never teach a point, is when I'm throwing the lead hook, I must bring back the rear hand to holding the film, back to the, back to the side of my face again. And again. And what I want to do as well, I also want to sit almost when I'm throwing my hook as well. It balances me. Yeah? So it gives you, gives you, a, gives you, gives you a balance. So again, the bent knees is another teaching point for this exercise, for this side of the exercise, yeah? So the same teaching point as before with the hook, where the elbow comes out, and I've got to keep my arm shoulder level and my shoulder defending the side of my face. But also, when I'm using it as a combination, I want to make sure on the shot, I sit down to balance myself. Try it again. Again. Okay. 